All right, so we're taped and ready to roll. What I'm going to do today is show you how to use a V-Smart in order to use it as a shopping cart. So let's say that you have two different products and you're branding yourself. It's all about branding yourself here on the internet and on mobile phones. You want to be selling yourself to people so that whatever it is that you are uh, sharing with them, you are the authority on that. So let's say in this case you sell vitamins and you also have an ebook. That's what the scenario is that we're going to show you today. So what I've done is I've simply opened a couple of places where you're going to host your vitamins or your ebook. So what I mean by that is you need to host something somewhere, something that you want to sell. And what I mean is you need to get a shopping cart of uh, a transaction opportunity. So there are plenty of places that you can set up an account for free. Amazon, you can set up an account for free. PayPal, you can set up an account for free. Um, let's see, you've got eBay, you can set up an account for free. iTunes, you can set up an account for free if you're selling music. I know I just met with Emmanuel yesterday and he is a music producer and he's using the Smart. and he said, Colleen, I need an iTunes button, so we added one. Uh, but point is, you need to put your things that you want to sell, ebook, vitamins, whatever it is, on a place where there's a shopping cart. And then, you can attach your V-Smart, which I'll show you how to do, so that you can start sending that to people on their mobile phones or marketing it on Twitter or marketing it on Facebook. So get your, your arms around the fact that a shopping cart is a place, of course, as you know, you've been on the Internet, that can take a credit card. There's plenty of different places that can take a credit card for you. So decide where you're going to start your account and just do it. If it's Amazon and you want to put your vitamins in your ebook there, if it's eBay, if it's eBay and Amazon, whatever you want, just do it. Just get it up somewhere, put in a description, put how much it costs. All right, so we, we started with vitamins here. I also have an example of an ebook here on eBay. You know, real people are doing this all over. Get your products and what you want to show up somewhere. Now we also have, and I'll show you, how to use PayPal, how to leverage PayPal free accounts. You've got, I usually use like a buy one, get one free, or buy one, take one. You know, in this example I'll show you, it's going to be a $10 item, whatever we decide it is. You can sell gift cards of your products. If you are a vitamin distributor, and or even an ebook writer, and you want to sell gift certificates because you know that maybe Jane doesn't want your product, but Jane has a brother, Bob, who wants your product, and Jane can buy a gift card for Bob. So again, you're really just setting up for success to move your product, because a lot of people have a lot of things to sell, but some people don't know how to get that transaction, how to get that credit card. So there's all sorts of places set up. I just gave you three. PayPal, Amazon, eBay, well, and iTunes. So set up your free account today. Now, Let's make a V-Smart so that you can gather all of those items that you're trying to sell and brand yourself and be able to text it to people. So we're going to come back to exactly what I just showed you here in a minute. But that's your step one. Find, figure out where you want to put your products for sale Step and get them up there. Step two is go to yourvirtualportal.net when you become a customer or a distributor and you're basically going to create a vSmart. So yourvirtualportal.net is where you do all of your creation. So just click right here where it says create a new vSmart. And of course this is also the place you're going to go back to after you've created it and you need to up, update your video, update, you know, maybe uh, that ebook, you, you're putting a new ebook on, whatever the case is. This is always going to be your home base, your yourvirtualportal.net. Now notice we're writing www.yourvirtualportal.net. When you create a vSmart, you're going to get a link, and that link is going to be housed on yourvirtualportal.net. But you're not going to use www when you give it to people. You're just going to use the beginning of it, like Sam 
www.yearvirtualportal.net or jane.yearvirtualportal.net, whatever you name it. So let's start with, and this is so easy, this order entry form. I mean, look at this, first name, last name, title that you want to make your V-smart. This is easy stuff, guys, very easy. Phone number, really easy stuff. So let's start by, this says, enter your unique name of your join now site. So let's use Hector's because we always use um, Hector's. Actually, you know what we should use? We should use Jane's sample. There's a reason for it. I have access to Jane's sample here in a minute. I don't have access to Hector's, um, our master distributor. I do have access to Jane's sample though right now. Uh, so what we're going to do, and let's see if I can make both of these stay up here at the same time. I think what we're going to have to do is shrink this screen so you can see what I'm saying for those who want to watch along. So when you first get to www.yourvirtualportal.net, please notice in the upper right hand corner here, you've got a seven minute video, how to create a Be Smart tutorial. It's all there for you. It is so easy. So if somebody says, I need to be trained, I don't know what to do, just tell them, go to yourvirtualportal.net, there's a seven minute video. You're, you're in like Flint. They can have this Be Smart done in seven minutes. So you start by entering your, your unique Join Now page. And what I mean by that is when you came to the .com site, you gave it a name. Let's say it was Jane Sample in this case. So it was janesample.yourvirtualportal.com. Just fill that in. Because what just happened, if you watch here below, is it actually started building your vSmart. Powered by janesample.yourvirtualportal.com. It started building it. So you actually get to build on the left and watch it being built on the right. Let's go to your order number. Let's say your order number, and it's on your receipt from when you bought your .com site and your product. Let's say it's 1234. Just fill it in there. Let's put our first name there so that we know who owns it. I've got to scroll up here. So we need to know who owns it. So we know who it belongs to. So I'm just going to write Colleen Sullivan. And then we need to give the title of the vSmart. So in this case, we're going to call it, um, let's think, we're branding ourselves with an ebook and with vitamins. So let's call it uh, Jane Samples. Actually, wait, I've already got Colleen Sullivan's name there. All right, so Colleen Sullivan's um, ebooks and vitamins. And you can see here how it's building it. It's just, it's covering it up because I want to show my video as well as what's here on top on the vSmart so that you can see it being built. So let's go to, now it says YouTube video URL. What on earth do you do there? Well, all you do is make sure you go get a video of something, whether it's your vitamins that you're selling, whether it's a video of your ebook. What would be nice is if you did a branding video. So let's go, and what I mean by a branding video is you are your brand. So let's go to YouTube. You know, for example, I'm Colleen Sullivan. My brand is that every time I do a training, I am showing my video to you, myself, my video. This is branding yourself. That's why I do this. So you can see what it's like to brand yourself. You know, whatever it is that you've got to bring to the table, make sure that you're building a V-Smart around it. So let's do a, uh, let's say, branding video. I don't know. Let's see what comes up. Branding video. Let's see what comes up. All right, personal branding, creating your first video. This isn't rocket science. All a branding video is is, hi, my name is Colleen Sullivan, and for those of you that already know me, you know that I am a book writer and a vitamin seller. And the vitamins I have are the best because of the seed that is mined in a different country and it's the best seed in the world, whatever it is. 
And the reason I'm a good writer is because I've been writing for 20 years or, you know, whatever the case is. And I've got a lot to bring to the table. And I'd like you to see my ebook, and I'd like you to uh, consider looking at my vitamins to see if they might benefit you. So, you know, this is the type of branding video we're talking. If you don't feel comfortable with that, and let's say you sell uh, Herbalife vitamins, well, then go to Herbalife and simply you know, go to Herbalife Vitamins. There's plenty of videos here. Look, a Herbalife Multivitamin Easy Test, a Herbalife Vitamins and Products Review, um, Herbalife Multivitamin. I mean, you name it. So, we, you know, you would go with one that has a lot of views. This one has 2,000 views. Let's just go here. You know, somebody's talking about it. And they did the video for you. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. You can leverage YouTube. You know, you don't have to do all of this by yourself. So let's click on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the URL. And what the URL is, is it's that address up at the top where the video lives. That's all it is. That's the address. That's what you want to take from this website and bring over to vSmart. So what we're going to do is simply highlight it with our left click button. We're going to right click and we are going to come back over here to YouTube and we're going to right click and paste it right in the field of the YouTube. I'm on a webinar. I'm working. Luke's not home. It's Saturday, and the kids are coming to the door. <laughs> so, sorry for that. So, you have now put your first video into the vSmart. And that can change time after time after time. That doesn't have to stay the same. You could change it in an hour if you like. We're going to put your phone number, 888-888-8888. Do you want text? Yes, you can have text. And then what will happen, you'll see when we go to the final product, you're going to um, you're going to get another field where it's going to say 888-888. It's going to say call. And then it's going to say 888-888 again. And it's going to say text. But you don't have to have text. You can uncheck that button or you can check it. That means you want people texting into you. So let's put here Skype name, jane.sample.ebook, or whatever you want. We're going to put an email here and a password. Now we get to the fun part. We get to link, and this is not difficult. You're simply going and getting that URL or that address that we just talked about on a different page, whether it's Amazon, eBay, PayPal. You're just going to get that URL, that page link, and put it right here. It's just that simple. So let's start with the fact that you are selling your ebook. And we're going to, let, let's go get our mind around where it's at. Let's say that ebook is on eBay. And remember, you've already put your ebook on eBay, and each one of these has a URL or a home address. Let's see. Let's go for a, well, that's a nice price, $14.95, an ebook. Boy, I hope that person gets $14.95 for their book. Make sure it's priced right. So let's click on it, and let's say Cure Tooth Decay is the book that you're selling, maybe, that you have created. So we click on it, and you'll see that up here, that is the address where that book, Cure Tooth Decay, lives. That's the address. That's its home address. So click on it with your left button. Right click, and then copy. Now you've got it on your clipboard. Now you can travel because you've got another browser open. Here to be smart. And you simply put it in the URL. URL is like a, an address. So we're going to right click and we're going to paste it. Now let's go back up because, oops, I forgot to choose an icon and then give it a name. So I kind of did things a little backwards. Let's go give it a, um, let's go give it a picture first. You know, since it's on eBay, 
And eBay has a really nice name. I think you know that. Let's just choose an eBay button. You know, we're leveraging other people's hard work, eBay's hard work, to help sell your book. So if people don't want it, uh, you know, if the picture isn't snazzy enough yet on the book of your Tooth Decay uh, cover, use eBay. Leverage eBay's name, okay? Leverage eBay's logo. It's all about leveraging other things. So in this case, you're selling it on eBay. So let's put, have the whitest smile ever. Something like that. How to. I, I don't know. How to book or what, whatever we call it. All you're doing is you're giving that icon a label. And remember, we've already put here the URL. We've already copied it and pasted it. So now that button's done. It's all done. You're ready to sell that product on eBay. And again, you're taking this vSmart and you're texting it to people. You're putting it on Facebook. But remember, as a brand, you want to show them a few things that you're doing. If you're branding and you have a few things. Because nobody has one stream of income anymore. Anybody on the Internet has multiple streams of income. So you want to get everything on one vSmart and brand yourself and leverage all of those multiple streams of income. Because, you know, I may not need or, or I may not want to buy today the how-to book to have a great smile, but I may want to buy the vitamins. But maybe in three months I might come back and think about that book, but maybe I didn't, I didn't prefer the vitamins. So don't be a one-hit wonder. Use those multiple streams of income and leverage that. And think about it. You're B-Smart if you're a distributor. You're also leveraging that. So make sure to put, you know, a join now or a little bit about B-Smart up on here too. So we're going to go to our second button. And let's shut the ebook one so we don't get all confused in all of our links. We're going to shut that button. Oh, next thing up is our vitamins. I like the VitaFusion Multivite Gummy Vitamins because I like gummy bears. So I like the gummy vitamins. That's the one I'm going to choose. So let's pretend for the minute, again, that you are selling these gummy vitamins and you are VitaFusion and you put this already on Amazon. You already got your free account. You know, just put what the price is, if it's in stock, when it's going to ship. You've got to tell people what they're getting. And you're going to click on it because, remember, that's the address that you need to get. That's where it lives. Left click on it. Copy. I'm sorry. Highlight it. You highlight the whole thing. Hold on. Make sure the whole thing's highlighted because that's the whole address. If you don't have the whole thing highlighted, it's like giving partial address to, you know, somebody sending you a, a holiday card. It's not going to get to you. So copy it that way on the clipboard. We're going to go over to vSmart, and we're going to drop it in that URL. Again, URL is, is, is an address online. We're going to right-click, and we're going to left-click the word paste in it. And it just took all that address. So we're doing vitamins. So let's give it, oh, I put it in link number three. I meant to go to link number two. Let me just erase that. It's still on the clipboard. Don't worry, we've already saved it. No harm done there. We're going to go to icon number two or link number two so it looks pretty. And we're going to paste it in there. So this one we're selling on Amazon, our, um, our uh, vitamins, right? And again, Amazon has a fantastic name. Really leverage Amazon. Leverage eBay. Use those logos because it gives even more credibility to your vitamins that it's on an Amazon store. So let's go and choose from, you know, there, it shows that it's, you know, a credit card opportunity. There's a nice icon. Or you could show if you just like the standard Amazon logo. It's your choice. It's totally your choice. I'm going to prefer for this video to use the credit card one because I always like to show people that with vSmart, you can check out. It's a shopping cart uh, availability. So let's go ahead and put the label in there. Now, remember, this label was 
gummy vitamins that taste, or let's just put gummy vitamins taste great. You know, give somebody a reason to click it. Don't just put, buy my vitamins here. Nobody's going to buy your vitamins there. You know, give them a reason, great tasting, or gummies, or whatever the case is that's unique about your product. You know, it, it, it kind of goes back to what we did here with the uh, whitest smile ever. You know, people generally want a, a white smile or a whiter smile if your smile is white or whatever the case is. You're giving people a reason. You're hitting an emotion that makes people want to click that button. Don't just put prevent tooth decay, right? If it's going to say prevent tooth decay, who's going to click on that? Nobody's going to click on that. <laughs> You've got to give them a reason. Get somebody's emotion. You know, have the whitest smile ever because that makes us look great. You know, people in the world, they're vain, right? Get, get something. Gummy bears, they taste great. You know, sometimes people hate taking vitamins or pills because they don't taste good. Oh, a great tasting vitamin? Give people a reason. So now our link is created for number two. Let's say now that we want to sell gift cards because, again, back to the fact that maybe Jane doesn't want to buy vitamins today or have a whiter smile today, but maybe she knows that Bob was talking the other day about how he really needed to get into a vitamin regime and he'd been not taking care of his health, and so she wants to get a gift card for Bob. Let's do a gift card. Again, it's all sorts of ways to move more of your product, and gift cards are so current and so relevant today. People are always buying gift cards. Heck, for Christmas, I'd almost rather have a gift card than I can go buy what I want from the vitamin store or whatever. So let's go to link number three, and let's go find a gift card. And, you know, I think the gift cards actually say donate on them. And we're working on alphabetizing all of these. We actually have two sets of alphabetizing. So we're working on merging those. So go to the donate, I think is where the gift card is. There it is. Let's see. Look at all these. You know, you've got Visa cards. You've got uh, American Express cards here. You've got all sorts of things to show people that you can take a credit card. And remember our little secret, you've already got everything on eBay or Amazon or whatever, and it's all hooked in. There's some new iTunes ones. I'm looking for the gift card one. If you have music to sell, there's some new iTunes. We've got a lot of artists using our vSmart. All right, I will find that gift card. Just a moment. I think I need to put that gift card on the top because I like to use it all the time. Oh, there's some nice gifts, too. Ah, uh, gift card is actually under gift card. Novel idea, right? Gift card is under gift card. So there you have it. So let's say buy one vitamin, get one free, or whatever you decide. It doesn't need to be buy one, get one free. But again, I'm trying to give you some reasons that people from a marketing and psychology standpoint, want to click on your buttons. They love buy one, get one free. They love free brochure with a purchase or something like this. Or let's put, um, well, this one matches the PayPal. Free consultation with a purchase. You know, people like free. People like that relationship. If you're offering somebody a free consultation with your product, again, that's relationship. That's part of branding you. So let's go, we've got a gift card there, so let's say we've used PayPal, and we went to PayPal, because on PayPal, you can do all sorts of things. Let me show you what I mean by that. You have the opportunity to have a gift card, and you can call it gift card. You have the opportunity to just do uh, an order summary. There's all sorts of setups 
with PayPal. You can choose to do an invoice. You can choose to do uh, all of these that we just kind of went over. So let's get to it. In this case, we did buy one, get one free, or we did a gift card. So in this case, we can just drop down, and let's say uh, you want to have a $25 gift card. Or wait, did we do a buy one, take one there? Let me go look. What did we do? I'm, I'm forgetting. Buy one, get one free. Okay, let's do that one first, and then we'll come back to the other one. All right, so buy one, get one free would be right here where we have buy one, take one is how we set up in PayPal. You just go to PayPal and call it that. You can call it anything. You can call it buymywidgets.com. You can call or uh, buy my widgets, buy my vitamins, whatever. In this case, I'm just giving you some marketing ideas. Buy one, get one, and that's $10. So we're already there. Again, we're on a PayPal address. Simply left click one time. It's blue. That means it's highlighted and ready to be copied. Right click, copy. Now it's on your clipboard. Let's take it over to vSmart. Right click, paste on it. You're done with that link. It's now connected to your PayPal. Let's go do, I'm going to shut all these down. We already did a buy one, take one. Let's shut that down. We've already done the Amazon. Let's shut that down. We don't need it. Let's do get rid of the Herbalife because we already did you know, vitamin video. So we have one gift card left if you want to send somebody a gift card. Now, uh, let's say, you know what we did? I chose gift card, but then wait a minute. I did a buy one, get one. So I'm going to say, well, wait a minute. That makes better sense not to use the gift card in that one. It makes better sense to use a shopping basket or a shopping bag. Just change it. And you can go back and change it at any time, even if the vSmart is already done. But let me show you how easy it is to change it. We're going to go find some shopping icons. So here we've got shopping bag, we've got shopping basket. I prefer this blue one. I think it looks neat. And so we just changed it. Not a big deal. Now let's go now to link four. And now let's use that gift card. We're just going to scroll down. Go get that gift card again. Oh, I think we're going to come back and use a gift, too. I don't know what for. Maybe free gift or something. We're going to go over to the gift certificate page that we've, remember, we already went to PayPal. We've already set up a gift certificate page on PayPal. They walk you through everything. We're going to right click on it. I'm sorry, left click on it to highlight it. We're going to then right click, hit the word copy. And then choose, you know, do you want $10 gift card? Do you want $25 gift card? Whatever the case is, come back over to the vSmart. We're going to then put this in the URL. We're going to just right click and hit the word paste. You're done with that link. Let's give it a label. Uh, we're going to write $25. Or you know what we'll do? Let's say $30 gift card for only $25 or something like that. You know, give away $5 extra. In the spirit of Groupon, you've all heard Groupon. You know, Groupon does that all the time. It's a buy one, get one free. It's buy $50 for only $45. Really, you know, give somebody a little bit of a discount if it gives them some encouragement to buy something from you and to become your loyal customer, just an idea. These are all your choices. I'm just giving you marketing ideas. Now let's say you've got a Facebook page and you want to add your Facebook icons and your Twitter icons. Let's add two more links because let's face it, the brand Facebook and the brand Twitter is a good thing to have on your vSmart. So let's go pick a Facebook icon. And again, it goes back to give somebody a reason to click it. Don't just write Facebook under, under it. Everybody knows what that already is. So don't, don't be redundant. Be clever. Uh, let's say get the latest 
discounts, discount info, something clever. People want a discount. If you're branding yourself and you've got something to sell, get clever. Don't just write Facebook underneath it. So how you go get a URL for Facebook, we'll just use the Your Virtual Portal one, www.facebook.com. You know, just go find what that link is, Your Virtual Portal. In this case, that's our Facebook page. And we've got, oh, I want you guys to go see. I met some distributors yesterday. So very fun. Uh, this is Emmanuel Tuffet. He lives here in Tampa. This is the whole group we went out to Cheesecake Factory. This is Lisa Johnson from Newport Ritchie. Here's Emmanuel again. That's me. We've got Joey Soto and we've got Juana Lewis here, both from Orlando. So please, please go check this out. And, uh, you know, visit our Facebook page. We've got to get people going to our Facebook page because there's going to start being specials and things like this on it. But anyways, so, you know, Facebook.com forward slash, www.facebook.com forward slash your virtual portal. Let's just go, that's the address it lives on. Hit the word copy. We're going to go back to our vSmart. And again, we're just showing the URL is that address that it lives at. We're just going to right click. We're going to hit the word paste and move on. Now let's go to Twitter, because again, those are great brands that you want to be affiliated with. But the thing is, what vSmart does, and the reason that vSmart exists, is because, you know, the world has gotten so social media heavy. And that's a good thing, because you get your product out there, right? But people are, are not selling when they go to Twitter, and when they go to Facebook, and when they go to Pinterest, and when they go everywhere else. So what our product does is it brings together social media, shopping carts, and the ability to purchase so we don't lose sight of what we're starting to do in the first place. And then sell more product. You've got to sell more product or share more product. So don't lose sight of why you got into business. You didn't get into business to have 25 different social media places that didn't earn you money. You got into business to earn money and have a home business for vitamins or for ebooks or whatever your cause is. And social media came on and really just diluted your market. And everybody's going to Facebook and Twitter, and nobody's really doing anything and buying anything from you. That's where vSmart comes into play. vSmart merges it all, rises up to the top what you want people to do. I want you to buy my vitamins. I want you to look at my ebook and consider buying it. And yeah, definitely go to Facebook for specials. But don't spend all day on my Facebook page. Go buy something from me. That's why people have home-based businesses. That's why pizza shops are in, in business. That's why nail shops are in business, to, for people to buy from them. So keep that in mind. So we're going to go to Twitter now because, again, it's, it's kind of a necessary evil. You need it. Excuse me, I'm rearranging. Uh, so that is your Twitter. So let's go find uh, our Twitter page. I actually have to go. I can't think of what it is. So I'm going to go to your virtual portal. Dot com. <laughs> I'm going to find our Twitter page. It's right here at the bottom. All of our social media is down here. And look, in the future, shortly, we're going to have the same logo, the Your Virtual Portal logo down here, because our goal as a company is to be able to hang with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all the big boys, and we're going to have our circle right here. And that is what we're going for as Your Virtual Portal. Combine all your social media and all your shopping carts, and put it on one page. So yesterday, it was so funny. Emmanuel was sitting next to me at Cheesecake Factory, and I said, I'd really like to hear your music one day. And he says, oh, I'll send you my B-Smart. And I said, I want music to my ears. That's where we're going with this. That's what people will do. Instead of Facebook me and Twitter me and look at me up on YouTube, hey, send me your B-Smart. That's where we're going with this. That's the big picture. Send me your vSmart, or let me send you my vSmart. It's got everything on it. So I'm going to click on the Twitter page here. Hold on, it's blocking my pop-ups because, hold on. Because I'm online here and I have no pop-ups coming up. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we're doing this because my Twitter is not connected. Oh my heavens, I'm so glad we're doing this. Oh, and look, there's our distributor, Clyde, who was in town the other day. Our family at Monster Trucks. 
Um, I just realized that our Twitter is not connected, and I'm so glad to know that I just learned that because obviously our Twitter needs to be connected. Let me see if I can find us on Twitter. Hold on. We're going to go to Google.com, and I'm going to write in your virtual portal Twitter. There we are. It's under YVP Global. That's how you find somebody's Twitter if you don't know. So YVP Global is our Twitter account. So, and this is that logo I was telling you about, the one right there between my eyes. This is that logo that we're going to start putting on the bottom of all of anybody's website who wants it so that you can show your vSmart proudly right from your website. And again, that's what's going to hang right next to the Facebooks and the Twitters and the YouTubes at the bottom of all websites. That's where we're going with this. We're going big. Go big or go home, right? So there is the address. We're going to right click on excuse me, right click on it, copy it. There's our Twitter. And we're going to right click and we're going to paste it right in there. And for a label, we're going to write. Yeah, you know, my husband, he's so funny. I don't know if he's writing funny things on our account because he does a lot of the Twitter. But on his personal account, he is so funny. He keeps getting retweeted everywhere because the things he says are so funny and clever. So I'm just going to write, my husband is so funny. Because again, you're, you're giving somebody a reason to go to your Twitter page. Don't just write Twitter. People know that that's the Twitter logo. Nobody wants to hear, oh, go to Twitter. You know, but somebody might click if you put, my husband is so funny because he's the one who does Twitter for us. And if he's not putting funny ones on ours, I'm going to ask him to because he's cracking me up on his own personal Twitter. He's absolutely cracking me up. And clearly everybody else because they keep retweeting him. Now, the very last thing you want to do is give your vSmart a name. And, you know, generally I tell people, don't make it too far off what you're trying to accomplish overall. If you're branding yourself, then, then just do it. Brand yourself. You know, Jane Sample. Uh, now, that one's already taken because I've done this a hundred times. So let's do Jane Sample 15. That one hasn't been taken yet. But keep it as small and as tight as you can because remember, .yourvirtualportal.net is already going to be at the tail end of it. So keep it short and sweet. Maybe even Jane 15. Don't make it too long. And that's where it's going to live. The last thing you're going to do is hit the submit button. You have a once over look. If there's anything you want to change, now's probably the time, a good time to do it. Hit the submit button. And there you are. It's all made for you, just the way that you created it with all of the links that already happened. Now the neat part is, this is how it shows if you're on a computer, a laptop, anything like this. But now watch what happens if somebody's looking at this on an iPad or a device that's maybe half the size. Maybe it's bigger than a cell phone, but uh, smaller than a laptop. This is what's going to happen. Our technology is smart. It's going to reconfigure itself to look best on whatever it is that's pulling it up. So I'm basically showing you what it looks like when it comes up on a iPad. Now let's look at what it looks like when it comes up on a smartphone. I'm just simulating it for you. So this is what it looks like on a smartphone. And literally people can scroll down, people can put in their their first name, their last name, their email address, whatever the case is. It's all there for you. So that's the beauty of this the V Smart is that it is smart. It knows what is pulling it up? So now your vSmart is done. Your branded vSmart is done. Let's say, and, and here's what I always like to uh, show people. Now look at it. If you go back, do some proof, proofreading. See where it says, have the whitest smile ever, H-O. Well, that's a problem, right? Because it ran out of space. So we need to go back and fix that, right? So let's go back and fix it by logging right back in where you were, and remember, uh, here's our link. 
our link is jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. That is now your new address for your vSmart. So everywhere, on the bottom of your email signature line, on every tweet you send out, on every Facebook you send out, on mobile marketing, if you're sending out texts, put that vSmart address that jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. People are going to click on it and see exactly this. So keep in mind that you've now created your address. Your address will never change. It'll never change. Now let's go back and fix where it says, have the whitest smile ever, H-O. Let's shut all this other stuff down so we don't get confused. We're going to shut down the Twitter. We're going to shut down the website. We're going to shut down the gift cards. Let's shut everything down so all that's, that we have... Yeah, you know, let's just shut everything down. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to have to, we're going to have to um, log in. So you're going to go to yourvirtualportal.net because that's our home base for everything, remember. I wanted to make sure you're all still with me that I didn't shut all the internet out, right? Okay, so you're going to log in. You're going to go back to www.yourvirtualportal.net, and you're going to log into your site. Well, your site is, remember, we called it Jane15. And it already has there, .yourvirtualportal.net. So don't write the .yourvirtualportal.net there again. It's already got it there. And then my password. And we're just going to hit the word submit. And it's going to open where we previously were. It's going to open your jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. Remember, that is your link. That is your address. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how to send it out on a text, how to send it out on Twitter, how to send it out on Facebook, how to put it at the bottom of your email signature. There's all sorts of ways. It truly is a 10-in-1 tool. So we're going to log back in. And sorry, this takes long because we have so much open right now with this go-to webinar. All right, so here is exactly what we did the first time. So we're going to go get rid of where it says, have the whitest smile forever, or smile ever. Oh, accidentally I put the word HO in there. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so have the whitest smile ever. So we just deleted the HO, and then we... Or moving on, we're going to save it. Now, look up here, though, for a minute. I'm going to need to show you. See where it says Colleen Sullivan up here? And it doesn't show that. I, I should have caveated this. What you really need to do is, even though it shows it twice, I'm going to have to get this looked at here. It's only going to print it once. It's only going to print it once. So make sure you put your name if you want to put Colleen Sullivan as eBooks and Vitamins. And I'm getting that little extra name out there. I'm getting that looked at with the programmers. But anyways, hit the revise button if you want to get your name up there. So there where it says Colleen Sullivan has ebooks and vitamins. Just put it in there for now twice, and I'm going to have that looked at. So there you have it. And now have the whitest smile ever. And the neat thing about the vSmart is when you click it, and I'm online here, so I need to write, I have pop-ups blocked. So when you click it, you're going to go to that landing page. Remember, here to decay, that's what we started with. It goes right to that page. So you're all set. Let's go make sure that our link, gummy vitamins, taste great. There's our gummy vitamins. We want to make sure that our buy one, get one free goes to our PayPal. Oh, cookies are turned off. I have to enable my cookies to make that happen. And then, you know, get the latest discount info on Facebook. There we are. So, you know, this is how vSmart works. Now, if you want to make sure to get credit whenever you are showing your business, janesample.yourvirtualportal.com, let's click on that. It's going right to the Jane Sample site, the .com site.
you know what we forgot to put in this one? Is we forgot to put in um, the Your Virtual Portal uh, Join Now business. So, you know, you have a total of eight spots available on this. So make sure you use all eight. Throw your vSmart Join Now page in there as well. And, of course, your Join Now page is this one. If you click here, it goes right to the one with orange on it. That's your address right there. Hook it right to it. You know how. You right click, you copy, you go over to the vSmart and you paste. It's just that simple. So let me show you what you're going to do. Let me just go find something. No, you know what? I'll just start a fresh one. So let's say now that you want to go put that link at the bottom of your email signature and at your Facebook and at your, um, let me just close some of this so you can see the video. All right. Let's say you want to go text this. You literally just go to the fingers on your text and do one at a time or you can go purchase our bulk texting package, which is called, that product is called the uh, Global Text, and you'll find that on our website. If you want to send a hundred or a thousand, here's the caveat. We don't take spam. It's just like email. Don't send texts to people that you don't know. That's not okay. That will never be okay with any program. Don't send spam. Uh, get the people out of your LinkedIn. Get the people out of your Facebook. And we're going to be doing a training how to do that. It's really simple, especially LinkedIn. Bob Chapman, I have you to thank for that. I know you're online today. Bob Chapman showed us where in LinkedIn you can literally just export all your phone numbers of the people that are in your LinkedIn to an Excel spreadsheet. And now you've got all the phone numbers in a database. So people think, where am I going to get phone numbers? I don't have any phone numbers. Well, sure you do. Go to your social media. You've got plenty of phone numbers. And there's actually a way where you can get the phone numbers out of Facebook. I'm going to show people how to do that in another training. So uh, in this case, let's say we are going to start sending out the uh, text. I'm going to give us a little text box here and give you a little text training. Don't get too wordy. This is your pretend verbiage in your text of your uh, phone, where you want to be texting people. And, you know, let's say you just created your vSmart. You want people to see your vitamin discount and your ebook discount. So you can write, uh, if you're doing a personal one, you know, hi, hi uh, Joe. But if you're sending a blast one, don't write, hi, Joe. Just, you know, start your info. Put discounts through Sunday on gummy vitamins and white smiles. I, I don't know. We're just making something up again. Give people a reason to click it. Don't say, buy my vitamins and ebook. That's really boring and nobody's going to do it. So right click, and I always tell people, right click in your text because people only do what they're told. If you don't tell them click, they may not click. They don't know what this is because it's so new and so novel that they may not have seen it before. So you've got to tell them, click, and then just simply write jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. That's it. That's as easy as it gets. And then that is your text. So let's say that is what you wanted to text. That's what you're going to write. Just that simple. Now on a text, I want to tell you there could be something you need to be aware of, very aware of on a text. Let's say you've got a skinny box like this. And you see how jane15.yourvirtualportal.net just got broken up? Don't worry about it. Computers and smartphones are smart. They know that when that goes over the airwaves, whether it's the internet airwaves or the mobile marketing airwaves, it knows because it's got the dot where it needs to be jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. It knows that it's going to make a hyperlink so people can click on it. Now, what the problem is going to be is if you break this link, if it looks to you like it's going to break and you go, oh, no, 
I'm going to break it, I'm going to put a space there or, or something. You know, let's say you're typing it. Let's, let's pretend for the minute you're typing it. Your virtual portal, see it's got that automatic word wrap. It's smart. I didn't press enter. But let's say you're going here and you go, oh, no, there's not enough space. I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to hit the space bar. Whoa, did you just make a mistake because you just broke your link. And then you just finish it by yourvirtualportal.net. It's never going to make a link. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just keep typing. Word wrap is a great thing. It does it itself. It is very smart. So it might look like it's broke, but it's not. And I always tell people, text yourself first. Text yourself first and make sure that it's exactly the way you want to see it. Press on your link to jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. Make sure it goes where you want it to go. And then you can just start copying and pasting to the next person. So that's how you text your link. The next one, let's say you want to put it at the bottom of your email signature. I'm going to have to make another box here. Let's say you're at the bottom of your email signature. And you know how sometimes it'll say, kind regards, or whatever the case is? Well, in this case, we're going to write in the email signature, uh, kind regards, Colleen Sullivan. And at the bottom, after that, I'm going to write, uh, click, my be smart. And let's write Jane 15, just like we do, dot your virtual portal dot net. And again, did you see? I didn't press the enter button. It's smart. Word wrap is smart. It's always very smart. There then is your email signature. Let's do the next one. Let's do Facebook. Let's put, uh, you know, having a great time at Cheesecake Factory. That's where we were yesterday with our distributors. Cheesecake Factory. And then you can write, click my Be Smart. And then again, Jane 15 dot your virtual portal dot net. So there's Facebook. Twitter. Uh, let's put reading the best book of my life or whatever you're writing. And then, you know, you only have 40 characters on Twitter, so maybe you don't want to write, click my be smart, you know, jane.yourvirtualportal.net. Depends how many characters you have, but still include jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. Count the characters. If you've got a few more, tell people what to do. Click. There you go. So on and on and on. LinkedIn. Same thing. You know, if, if you do updates on LinkedIn, we're just going to do the same one that we did for Facebook. We're, I'm literally going to copy it because it can be the same. LinkedIn. Now, let's say you are on YouTube because uh, you have a YouTube channel for your ebook or your vitamin. Monetize YouTube. Put the same thing up there. On YouTube, where they have the little icons, put the icon there for YouTube and hook it to jane15.yourvirtualportal.net. Wherever you want to place this, just start placing it everywhere. LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, your email signature, your text. I mean, again, truly a 10-in-1 marketing tool. And the neat thing is we launched this as a mobile marketing tool only to have our distributors teach us how they were truly going to use it. So that is our training today. And I thank everybody for being here. I have kept you on the line for one hour solid of training. And I appreciate you being here. 
I'm going to, we taped this uh, webinar, and I'm going to be posting it. And this one's called How to Turn Your VSmart into a Shopping Cart. So thank you, everybody, for being here. And I want to ask everybody to join us uh, Sunday, Eastern Time, uh, 8 o'clock p.m. is our opportunity call. So thank you for being here, everybody, and I appreciate you and signing off. Thank you for being here. Oh, I just got a few comments. Bob uh, Chapman says, super training, Colleen. Hope it was recorded. Yes, we definitely did. So thanks, Bob. Bye, everybody.